Om Namah Shivaya children. In today's video, we will start with chapter number 11, Societal Impacts of IT, Information Technology. Now you all know that nowadays computers are being used in every field like education, entertainment, communication, banking, medicine, healthcare, governance, business. Uh, so basically in any sector you look around, you will see the usage of computers. So basically our dependency on computers is significantly very high nowadays. But with the increase of the usage of computers, we do agree that computers are accurate, they are very efficient, uh, efficiently we can do our work. But with the same, uh, having this uh, efficiency and accuracy also, computers have many negative impacts too. So all these negative and positive impacts of information and communication technology we will be learning in this chapter. So introduction to ICT. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. It includes computers, internet, broadcasting technologies that is radio or television and telephony. So information means the data that we share and communication technology means by which the mode of mode of communication that is broadcasting or internet or telephony etc. So due to globalization and other factors these technologies are changing and improving day by day. The globalization and technological changes in a knowledge driven technology are powered by technology and fueled by information. So technology uh, and information these both are going hand to hand. Nowadays ICTs have become an integral part of our working and living environments and will continue to be a powerful resource for business, government and society. You can very well experience that during this pandemic situation also how the usage of internet and computers and technology have helped us to communicate among each other and our education system is going on. You can also see your parents doing work from home probably and many other sectors using the uh, computer technology vastly. So having said that, let's learn the benefits of ICT. ICT provides several significant benefits uh, and today it has been used everywhere and in every field including education, healthcare, governance, etc. Some important benefits of ICT in different fields are discussed in this section. I just now gave you the example of how ICT is very useful for our education sector. You have seen this and you are seeing this in day to day uh, life of this particular year specifically. The first one is education. So many schools and colleges have started using ICT in education which has proved beneficial for institutions, teachers and students. ICT has made learning a great experience. Some of its benefits in education are as follows. Students can learn anytime and anywhere. Students can access information available on internet 24 into 7. Therefore, fixed class timings are not required. And even there is a fix, even if there is a fixed class timings, anytime you by the help of internet, also now we are well connected uh, through different communication medium, you can interact with your teachers. And also if you are getting a recorded video like we are getting in your YouTube, anytime at your own convenient time, you can open the YouTube, you can open your class and you can learn in your at your own convenience and also at your own pace. Suppose you're, you're not in this chapter, the previous chapter, you might learn at your own time when you need it. During the exam also you can get it even if the teacher is not currently present with you. Computer and internet facilitate sharing of information and provide educational opportunities in rural and remote areas also. You must have known that nowadays internet is available in rural areas also. The telephone towers are being made because of which in rural areas also internet tech and technology is, can reach. There is no need for students and teachers to be at one location. Teachers can teach many students together using video conferencing facility also. So now you can see over here also that we are not in the same place, we are not meeting for days but still the education is going on. The introduction of ICT in education has made learning a fun for students as they can now learn while playing. Nowadays many learning games are available in the market which makes learning interactive and easy. Many illustrations are given in the form of video clips which help students to understand quickly. The use of sound effects, comic characters, 
scripted acts etc attract students and helps them to become involved in the lessons being delivered students do not get tired after studying for a long time in such a manner so if the studies are given in presentation format with the help of different animations video clips and different uh, videos anime uh, i mean videos informative videos then you will get more attracted and you will have a very uh, great effect in your mind by which you will remember the topic more than if a teacher is just giving a verbal or oral dictation kind of a thing students and teachers no longer need to go to library and search book all the required information can be made available at home by using the internet and world wide web though of course the importance of library and book is will always be there but still the world wide web or internet is very handy whenever you give any keyword or type any keyword in your in a search engine very quickly it gives it back to you so it is much more quick and efficient of course the importance of book and library will always remain constant teachers can upload notes and study material on the internet for students ict allows students to access study material prepared by various experts professionals leaders teachers peers and mentors globally so wherever you are you can reach out globally and can access this notes and their experience and knowledge most of the study material available is available on the internet for free hence one need not go to library or market for study material like books it reduces the cost of traveling as all the data can be accessed by sitting at home in addition there is little need to join tuitions or extra classes for studying as one can easily learn from video clips available on the internet so these points are the benefits of inf- internet of course uh, you need to go to uh, you need a teacher of course to teach you and you also need a library like i told you but internet definitely gives you your information very fast and efficiently so children today we have started with uh, societal impacts of it and we have learned how it has uh, got a impact on the education sector please uh, study till here and in the next video we'll continue with the chapter namaskar